With Fox and Falco's dominance in the Melee metagame, the two Star Fox representatives were, and still are, often referenced together, earning the nickname of Space Animals. Over time, this was shortened to just Spaces, and is commonly used to this day in reference to Fox, Falco, and Wolf in any Smash game. Besides for Falco's lackluster appearance in Smash 4, every Spacey has been amazing or at least decent wherever they showed up. This brings us to Smash Ultimate, where Fox, Falco, and Wolf are all very capable characters in the competitive metagame. But who really is the best Spacey in Ultimate? Before we find out, make sure to check out ProGuides.com for all sorts of competitive resources. You can find our Smash tier list with breakdowns and guides for every character and take advantage of our Pro Pass feature to get access to top coaches as well as our Pro courses with MKLeo, ESAM, and more. So in order to determine who is the best Spacey, let's first go over each character's strengths and weaknesses. Fox McCloud, or Fox for short, is the protagonist and namesake of the Star Fox series, leading his squad of space animals on their daring adventures. Like his fellow Star Fox companions, Fox primarily pilots a spacecraft in his own games. But in Smash, he uses his acrobatic punches and kicks as well as his blaster and reflector to duke it out with the competition. Ever since his first appearance in Smash 64, Fox is a character with very fast ground speed and fall speed, falling into the rushdown and whiff punish archetypes in every one of his appearances. In Smash Ultimate, Fox relies on his fast movement and frame data to punish, combo, and pressure opponents relentlessly. Fox's most important tools are Dash Attack and Neutral Air. He can combo either of these moves into each other, or a variety of other options based on the situation. Coming out on a blazing fast frame 4, Fox's Dash Attack is his best grounded whiff punish tool. Fox players will run and jump around and zoom in with a Dash Attack when they see the opponent with an option. At low percents, this can lead to a string of multiple dash attacks and nares, with other options such as down tilts, back airs, and falling forward airs to attempt a jab lock. Fox's nair also comes out on frame 4. He can use this move on the way up to anti-air opponents and escape close quarters, but usually you'll see Fox players jumping above their opponents, waiting for an opportunity to swiftly drop down with a nair. Fox's falling nair starts combos at almost any percent, most notably confirming into his up smash for a KO at higher percents. At frame 8, Fox's up smash is also fairly quick and can make him terrifying to land against a kill percent. Despite his incredible movement, damage output, and kill confirms, Fox still has his flaws. As one of the lightest characters in the game, Fox will die very early, and his fall speed makes him susceptible to most combos. Having very little range, Fox will need to get close to opponents to get almost anything done, which makes it harder for him to avoid their most threatening options. Possibly his biggest weakness is Fox's telegraphed recovery. Despite traveling very far, both Fox's up B and side B are reactable and move in predictable ways. His side B only moves straight horizontally, and his up B travels in a straight line in any direction but has lots of startup. Both of these recovery options are fairly easy to edgeguard for skilled players, requiring Fox Banes to constantly mix up their recoveries and avoid going off stage. Falco Lombardi is Fox's snarky bird squad member, aiding Fox and company on their adventures with a little attitude thrown in. Introduced to Smash and Melee, Falco has a similar moveset to Fox but runs much more slowly, instead relying on his huge jump height to chase opponents through the air. In Melee and Brawl, Falco relies heavily on his laser game in neutral, but in Smash Ultimate, he finds himself with an adjusted moveset that focuses mainly on extended combos and edge guards. Unlike Fox, Falco doesn't have the speed to rush down and whiff punish opponents, but he does have an amazing set of combo tools and anti-air options. Most importantly for Falco are his grab and up tilt. Both of these options will start combos at a variety of percents, with up tilt comboing into itself in a variety of aerials, and grab allowing Falco to combo another aerial out of up throw, and sometimes down throw into fair or dash attack. What makes Falco's combo game so deadly are his drag-down resets. 
Falco can delay and fast fall his fair and neutral air to drag opponents down onto a platform for an uphill or a re-grab, resulting in long combos that can deal crazy amounts of damage in the ideal scenarios. At high percents, Falco's up tilt and sometimes up throw can combo into his strong back air for a deadly kill confirm. Falco's up tilt and forward air are amazing at anti-airing opponents, both having large multi-hit hitboxes that increase the odds of landing them. Forward air also has a very tricky landing hitbox that can throw off opponents attempting an out of shield option. Between his strong multi-hit fair and down air spike, Falco is a strong edge guarding character as well. His fair can cover a large vertical range since it will stay active while he falls, and his down air will spike opponents who recover low and take stocks very early. Although he's a bit heavier, Falco shares Fox's offstage weakness. His double jump travels much higher, but otherwise Falco is more or less the exact same up B and side B as Fox, only they don't even travel as far, so he can be very susceptible to edge guards. Just watch out for Falco's side B, because it will spike if it hits. Falco also struggles to get in, having a slow ground and airspeed, as well as poor and obvious approach options. This can make neutral very difficult for Falco against campy characters and opponents who know the matchup. Wolf O'Donnell is Fox's rival in the Star Fox series. He joined Smash as a newcomer in Brawl, but was bizarrely absent in Smash 4. In Smash Ultimate, Wolf rejoins the cast with a tweaked moveset that culminates in his new playstyle. Wolf relies heavily on his fast airspeed and strong aerial game to whiff punish and start combos. His run speed is even slower than Falco's, but he makes up for it with one of the fastest airspeeds in the game and decent air acceleration as well. This, coupled with a fast fall speed, allows Wolf to move more freely in the air than most of the cast and with a set of some of the best aerials in the game. Wolf will primarily look for fair and nair to start combos. His fair can link into more fairs, nair, and grab at low percents, and in mid and higher percents, it can combo into his back air, which is incredibly strong. Wolf's back air auto cancels out of a short hop and is a very scary option to deal with in neutral due to its immense kill power. Speaking of neutral, Wolf's laser is one of the best projectiles in the game, and along with his air control and good dash dance, makes Wolf's neutral game one of the best. Although the hitboxes on his up B and side B are more dangerous to deal with than Fox's or Falco's, he travels significantly less distance with his up B, and his side B puts him in freefall, so recovery is a common weakness for all three spaces. Even though his air game is so good, Wolf's sluggish ground speed can present issues for him against faster rushdown characters, and his disadvantage state isn't particularly special either, which is actually the case for Fox and Falco as well. So now that we've reviewed the strengths and weaknesses of all three spaces, it's important to look at results. Piloted by Light, Fox has had the best results of all three spaces with multiple PGR top 8s and wins on many top players in top tier matchups. Falco has had the weakest results, but players like Juice and Kofi have still managed to get impressive placings with the character. Represented mostly by Zachary of Japan, Wolf has the second best results of the space animals. Looking at all of this information, who is the best spacey? We think Fox takes it. Fox's oppressive advantage state and lightning quick neutral solidify him as a top tier, and Light's results with the character show that he's a major tournament threat. Wolf takes second place. With an incredible neutral game and dominant aerial play, Wolf nearly edges out Fox for the top spot, but with slightly weaker tournament placings and lacking Fox's explosive properties, he falls just short. Falco is still a strong character, and has some of the best combo potential in Smash Ultimate. But his poor movement and lack of mix-ups match his weaker results and put him in last place. Who do you think is the best Spacey? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe and click that bell to stay up to date with pro guides.